Hello, I'm Andy Sharp. Um, today I think I'm going to make a workshops tool because um, the current chair I use in the workshop for saddle stitching, things like that, is just woefully inadequate. It's got arms, which means it's a real pain for putting a stitching pony under. Um, you kind of get it locked and you can't stand up and if you try and stand up you hit yourself in your... Yes. Um, and uh, I, I could buy one from a charity shop, but the charity shops aren't open at the moment. And I have all the bits of wood that I have knocking about the shed that I need. Um, so I thought, well, um, that's a nice little project, so I'll, uh, I'll film it and put it on the internet. So the wood I'm using is just, um, I think this is a 2x4, I'm not actually particularly good at woodworking, so I, I'm struggling to identify 2x4 on site. Um, Anyway, uh, I, just bits of old wood that I've got knocking about in the shed. Um, I'm not going to be using any power tools for this really because um, I'm going to have to run extension leave from the house to the workshop and quite frankly I can't be bothered. Um, and uh, the, the the plans I'm using are by a guy called uh, Woodworking for Mere Mortals. Um, I've not watched any of his YouTube stuff but apparently it's very good um, and his plans are certainly fantastic on the internet. So. Um, could he be using one of his plans? Only trouble is he uses a um, dado cutter thing for his table saw. I don't have a table saw or a dado thick blade, so um, what I'm going to be doing is just bodging it, um, possibly with the coping saw. I might get a jigsaw out if I can could be bothered to run the electricity, but uh, yeah, that's going to be it's going to be fun, isn't it? It might be. This is going to look awful, by the way, just in case you're expecting some work of genius. I'm terrible at woodworking. Don't forget your hearing things. So because I've only got um, enough wood on this piece of wood for, th for three legs, I'm going to have to make the other wood out, other leg out of a wood that doesn't match. Um, which is, if you're the sort of pedantic character like I am that um, actually is really offended by that, then uh, I'm sorry, but I don't, I don't care today. If it helps, this this bit of wood is actually too short to have done all four legs of uh, from as well. Even though it is a longer piece of wood, it's still not quite long enough. Um, so it was going to happen eventually. I mean, at least it does it match. So uh, what I've done here is just mark out the um, dados. I've, from the plans by uh, woodworking by mere mortals, I'm using different um, thickness of wood. So I've had to extend extend these. Uh, these cuts a little bit, uh, but I've kept the spacing between them consistent, so hopefully they should be in the same kind of place. Um, and yeah, we we'll to cut these out on the jigsaw and see what happens there. So the next thing I'm going to do is do some cross braces to fit in here. Um, what I've decided is that this wood is very, very thick to be used just as a cross brace on its own. So uh, what I'm going to do is cut them all to length and then split them in uh, to three quarters of an inch thick. So I think that's that's half the thickness roughly. Um, so it should all line up fairly flush then. So this randomly assorted bit uh, pile of bits of wood will eventually become a stool. Um, I just need to start assembling it now, really gluing it up, uh, planing things down, things like that. So uh, yeah, better go with, get on with that. Oh dear. <laughs> I am filming this. Just, uh, Thanks, Mel. It's alright. Mind if I leave that in, the talk about dog diarrhea? It's literally she just did it down the steps all on the farm. 
Oh, lovely. So I think we're going to start gluing up the base. Um, so for that I've got a thing of rather old looking and probably not that good um, wood adhesive that's been knocking about for a couple of years. Um, it says it's for interior so that's good because I'm not going to be taking this outside in the rain. Um, yeah and I'm just going to bodge this together basically. Oh, I've got some clamps somewhere. Um, Should probably have cleared the dust off all this stuff. Oh well. I get the feeling I'm going to have to use quite a lot of wood filler to make this look like I'd actually cut things straight. Um, yeah. It's uh, going to be an interesting look. The problem is as well that I have two clamps, so I can't get things squared up straight because um, I, unless I, I was going to put that one on there, but the trouble is that one's a bit thin on one end because that was the one that had the dodgy, I think it had the blade issue in it. Um, so lining those things up is tricky. Um, hmm. Now that's the type of tolerance I'm working with. You see that there's a, about an extra inch of wood, that end. Oh, I thought it had it was really weird with this lens. Um, there's about an extra inch that this one compared to this one, because that piece is not straight in the slightest. From more of a vertical angle, you can see that it's just, it's horrendous. I'm gonna have to lop bits of wood off each end, but I did make it long on purpose. So I've let some of this dry overnight and I've just attached some um, screws in. As you can see, some of these joints are particularly, um, well, iffy. Um, and uh, the whole thing, as you can see, is totally, totally level. Uh, doesn't wobble in the slightest. Um, and uh, yeah, nothing is it, nothing's actually square in this at all. But what I can do is bodge it um, and just attach some stuff and level the legs up when it's done. It'll be okay, it'll be ugly, and the weight distribution won't be quite right, but sod it. Um, you may also notice that there's an assortment of screws in here that don't match. That one's a silver one, that one's rusted, that one's flathead and bigger, that one's a nail. Um, two non-matching things that, that's a nail. One of them came through the back very slightly, uh, another nail and a screw. So um, it's whatever I could find in this, in this, uh, this tin of horrors. Um, basically that either I'm using because I don't have any proper screws at the moment. Um, yeah, we're at that level of lockdown. So what I'm doing for the um, top of the stool is actually slightly different to what the plans say. The plans say that I should be um, taking a quarter, um, so cutting off essentially a quarter of that um, to give space for joints around it that are, um, I think it's called a half lap, but essentially I chop half of that off and then there's a space for it in there. However, that's that's quite complicated, and as the saw blade that I was using has broken, uh, all I've got is just old-fashioned manual saw. So what I'm going to do is instead attach everything at 45 degree angles. Uh, so do a, do an angle at 45 degrees on all of these top pieces, and then just essentially glue them down, and then screw them down later through the top. Um, so imagine that's that bit is the top there. So I'll have 45 degree bevel on there, the top screwed on, and then screw through both to attach them securely onto the base. Um, it's yeah, slightly, slightly not quite what was intended by the maker, but you know, 
it's it's all I can do really at the moment. So uh, yeah, it'll be all right. So. Now this is not going to be straight in the slightest and there are going to be overhangs but that's okay I don't mind particularly because at this point it's going to look awful regardless of what I do with it so um, yeah I'm not going to worry too much to be honest. I would give it a full thumbs up but it's going to have to be a sort of wonky thumbs up because everything is wonky on this. So, what I'm using for the seat itself is um, this piece of, I think it used to be decking. Um, it's in fairly good condition, um, so what I'm going to do is cut it down to size. I've got to actually figure out what size this is, because I've got a feeling it's going to be a different size from the plans. Um, so, I'm going to have to figure that out. But, what I'm going to do is um, cut it to, I think about, it was 14 inch square on the plan. So, I'm going to think I'm going to aim for that, and uh, that will give me an overhang of about a couple of inches either side, which is... That's enough, I think. Um, might go for 13, we'll see. So, it's now a few days later. Um, I had a dissertation to do in the middle of this project, so um, I apologise for the slight jump in time. Um, the, what I've done is I've glued the top together. Um, as you can see, I've just glued just a simple bit of wood glue down the edge and um, on the frame. Um, as you can see as well, it doesn't actually line up properly. So, um, that edge has got a bit of a lip on it. Um, that one is worse, that one's got a huge lip on it. So what I've done is daubed in some wood filler quite liberally. Um, I've also planed everything so the top is like vaguely smooth. I'm going to sand it and finish it. And you may notice by the fact that it's rocking alarmingly, um, it's not level in the slightest. Um, so what, what I'm going to do today is uh, is re hopefully rectify that um, by figuring out which leg is longer than the others. So what I've found is that this one is um, one of the longer ones. So what I think I'm going to do is, um, because this, the jigsaw has snapped as you saw, um, I'm going to have to just use a different saw to just chop just a little bit off the leg. Um, I'll mark it out and try to even it up a bit. That one, possibly that one needs a bit off it as well though. That's not a bad, that's that's the main culprit. So I'm not going to do anything too fancy, what I'm going to do is just find the line of that and there, there we are, that's what I'm going to cut. That was not particularly accurate I know, but it's it's a star, isn't it? So with a bit more work, um, just that that cup that I got on camera is all the only one I needed actually. But it, all I've it, what what seems to have happened is that it's 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 level-ish. I mean, it's still a tiny bit got a tiny bit of a wobble. Um, one of the legs is about a couple of mil off the floor. And um, I think this far leg here is just a tiny bit too long. But the thing is, the floor isn't level either. So if it's there, it's pretty dead level. Whereas if I turn it round, it isn't. So I'm contending with that, with the floor not being level as well. But um, if I was to sit on that, that's, well, in some places, fairly, fairly good. Some places, fairly terrible. But yeah. Oh. That's all right. Now I just need to sand it and finish it off. There we go. I found some AC grit that'll do the job. I reckon cheap, cheap sandpaper is a false economy to be honest. Is trapping about and you can hurt your hands trying to get it to stay together and just I don't know. I reckon decent stuff's worth getting in sandpaper. 
I might be wrong. I know nothing about wood woodworking as I suppose do I think. Why the hell am I even having an opinion about it? So what I'm going to do just now is um, put some nails through here because I've realised that the, uh, the these bits and this bit were, they're only held on with wood glue at the moment and while that will probably be fine I, um, I'm just going to put some nails in just for some extra security. I was using screws but, but there were a mixture of nails in this already so I might as well just go full full animal and just whack nails into it everywhere. I've decided actually I'm going to leave this um, bare wood because I think with something that's made out of assorted bits of non-matching wood, putting a finish on it is just, it's gilding a turn isn't it really? It's, if I put linseed oil on this and pretend it's a nice cricket bat made of quality wood, I'm just lying to myself and being totally dishonest. So um, I think I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm going to smooth off this top nicely so I've got something nice to sit on but I'm not going to give it any, any uh, airs and graces I don't think. Oh, it flies are open. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> anyway, so that's that's the, the, the how I'm going to operate the stool. So with the stitching pony between my legs there. Um, the, with the old, obviously with the old chair I had the um, art had arms on. So swinging this in in and out if I'm removing the stitching pony was a massive pain. Um, this bit actually is admittedly a bit of a pain on this stitching pony anyway. So I might modify that. But at least now the chair is fine so I can comfortably have the stitching pony there and stitch up here off camera. Um, yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. So, there we are. I'm uh, slightly higher up in the, <laughs> the workshop now. I've made this just slightly too high I think, but uh, oh well. I've uh, still got some tea left so I'm going to enjoy that and I hope you've enjoyed this video, this slightly rambling old video of me failing with woodworking. Bye. Oh, it's gone cold.